This is for you, Gemini. April is the month of the angelic frequencies of the gemstone diamond. Your birthstone is pearl, Gemini. So what we need to do is see how these two gemstones resonate one with the other. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. To contact me, you can visit www.readingsbyrosemary.com where we provide you with information on our spiritual consultations, psychic astrology, Rosicrucian Kabbalah, as well as classes and upcoming seminars. April's gemstone of diamond has the light emanations of the astrology archangel Malchideel. And your zodiac sign gemstone of pearl has the properties of light bestowed by the zodiac archangel Ambriel. Stay right here as we give you the gemstones particular to your ruling planet of Mercury, Gemini. Emerald, fluorite, Moss agate and sodalite are the precious stones used to align oneself with the energies of the planetary angel Raphael, who is assigned to the planet Mercury in Kabbalah, who is also the archangel of the east ruling over the warm, moist winds that originate from easterly compass directions. He is the divine physician corresponding to the Greek god Hermes Trismegistus and the Egyptian god Thoth, thereby being the Roman god Mercury, applying logical justification as well as reason to his familiar levels of bestowal, healing, resourcefulness, and ingenuity. So be mindful of your own intentions and potency when utilizing these powerful gemstones in unison with each other. Now the planetary angel Raphael is assigned to the planet Mercury in Kabbalah. The Zohar states, the first day of creation is the synthesis of all the other days. For as there is really no separate fractional moment in time, they only formed part of the whole. It is written, God said, let there be light, meaning angelic beings who are emanations from the light on high that shines forth on the world below and were created on the first day and took up their position on the right hand of the Holy One. Again, it's from the Zohar. Moreover, the book of Zohar exerts the following passage, that the fact is that the angel Raphael, who is appointed to heal the earth of its evil and affliction and the maladies of mankind, was created on the second day. Again, that's from the Zohar. Now, Mercury is known as the attribute of God, the winged messenger, found in Acts 14.12. And they called Barnabas Jupiter, but Paul Mercury because he was chief speaker. Your guardian archangel Raphael speaks through to you from your Gemini astrology archangel known as Ambriel. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Gemini zodiac angel Ambriel who resides over the twins mutable air and here are his messages for you in the areas of love, money and health. Ambriel's love, rapture and romance transmission, first of all the orange angelic like frequencies of Ambriel combined with invigorating curative frequencies originating from newly sustaining vibratory pulse oscillations from the gemstone of diamond revitalizes your romantic relationships due to blessings bestowed by divine providence through this birthstone's generous spiritual birthright. The lights of a precise permutation of zodiac angel Mechideel's natural first house attributes in addition to your own Gemini energies grants to you abundant magnitude of genuine personal contacts with the traditional zodiac sign of Aries because of the charming, brilliant, and clear illuminating beams that sparkle and glisten forth from a gem which affords enhancing experience for the holder of such gemstone that through a stimulation of the heart chakra thus generating vast happiness in present realities through interdimensional communication made promising through harmonizing within the crown, third eye, and solar plexus chakras. 
Now for Ombriel's money and wealth transmission, economic matters indicate a need for shrewd financial dealings, especially for anyone interested in increasing investments as well as substantial sustainable income projects that are offered to just a privileged few. Connecting to one's inner harmony and, and money genius in the Kabbalistic sector of Netzach allows for frequent cash injections. Our inner green man spirit also requires time for getting acquainted with the abundant sector of Chesed, which then aligns capital, wizard, wizards or even wizardresses, with frequencies allowing for receiving financial opportunities becoming always bolder while dispensing with overly restrictive regulations that tend to cause ischemia in our global organs of commerce. Exhilaration peaks during an astrological progression where combining Gemini's pearl and Mercury's emerald with diamond utilizes the uh, Astrology Archangelic Forces uniting uh, Ambriel and Mechidael, enthralling customers through business ingenuity as well as financial expertise. At the end of the day, it is through knowing how to create a need in customers or clients that matters most, thereby increasing positive outcome probabilities. Empirical evidence produces proof of the inner God self directed by one's holy guardian angel. Enlightenment is generated from within the monad then being projected into one's own physical reality through various attenuated orders of magnitude determined by an individual soul centered upon principle, intention as well as style. In our order we like to quote the ancient Zen proverb of before enlightenment chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. Our members often quip that sometimes we seem to chop more wood and carry even more water. This might be due to our being more mindful while performing these tasks. The solar plexus crown and third eye chakras are refreshed in highbrow, albeit nurturing environments with April's gemstone providing limitless prospects for a planet much in need of galactic or even universal consciousness. Now for Umbriel's health and fitness transmission. Health focuses upon balancing the upper supernal realms of crown and third eye chakras corresponding to the sephirot of Keter, Chokmah and Bana through purposefully understanding emotional intent before filtering divine unsubstantial principles through the invisible sephir of Da'ath which is found in the throat chakra making sure we are mindful of our words objectives filtered down through the higher sephiroth during April coming to life in the solar plexus chakra vortex emanations gotten from the seed of the soul are then able to expand outward in multi-dimensional spirals towards 3D space-time reality. Ascension is achieved when chi or ki life force is circulated around the entire body into more rewarding experiences which through well applied chakra healing techniques are able to heal concurrently one's pragmatic also artistic expressions. Healing of the solar plexus is attainable, attainable via first house attributes since April's zodiac sign of Aries ruling planet Mars which is concerned with the chakras and organs of the head while the sign Aries itself associates with the head and solar plexus or third chakra to energize the entire etheric body Objectives filtered down through higher sephiroth during April and that's coming uh, to life in the solar plexus chakra. Vortex emanations gotten from the seed of the soul are then able to expand outward in multidimensional spirals towards 3D space-time reality.
Ascension is achieved when chi or ki life force is circulated around the entire body into more rewarding experiences, which through well-applied chakra healing techniques are able to heal concurrently one's pragmatic, also artistic expressions. Healing of the solar plexus is attainable via first house attributes. Since April's zodiac sign of Aries's ruling planet Mars, which is concerned with the chakras and organs of the head, while the sign Aries itself associates with the head and solar plexus or third chakra to energize the entire etheric body and causal organisms expressed in 10 Kabbalistic sephirotic dimensions. You will find the energetic frequencies of pearl for Gemini and diamond for Aries inspiring during April, causing you to become more able to attain all the projects you desire for yourself using the power of your own mind, as taught by renowned author Mr. Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich, where he teaches the ordinary man or woman how to succeed in business, well-being, or relationships. Mr. Hill's 1937 book sold 20 million copies. All of Napoleon Hill's mental power principles may also be applied to several other aspects of goal-setting techniques, allowing anyone to excel in life, particularly when it comes to the personal goals of attaining wealth, health, and fitness. Napoleon Hill was born in 1883 and is the progenitor of many modern day success or self-help theories. Your solar plexus chakra is considered to be of vast significance throughout first house solar transits for the function of establishing self-actualization. Astrocartographic arrangements currently as well as at birth must be revealed if a holistic style of unveiling one's inner nature is truly desired. And for our, our disclaimer about our blog and also our videos, high magic should be used with all mindfulness since powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Now the reason we say this is because the the, if, if you want the ability to manifest everything you want or desire, you have to also manifest simultaneously everything you do not want or everything you fear. This is a, a, a Kabbalistic principle that is that is that must be understood before one is given more power so that one doesn't overwhelm oneself with too much energy being hooked up to the to the life force. So what, what you want to understand is that, for example, if, if you, in Kabbalah, it's taught that if you, if you want something, you have to have that much of a need for it. For example, if you want 10 gallons of water, you have to have a, a, a need or a jug of 10, 10 gallon jug. If you want, uh, you know, a larger amount, then you have to have that, you know, that vessel to contain it. And if one person doesn't have enough of a container, then several people have to get together to have containers. So it's 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 about you, you know, if you want more, you have to construct the vessel for what it is you're trying to attain. But what that vessel is made of is up to you. You don't have to you don't have to continually force yourself to do things that you don't want to do. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. If you want to do something, do it. It's up to you. Just say uh say no thank you or yes please. That's all you have to do. And and other people will say okay. It doesn't have to get into a, a big, you know, a big deal. So, and the more calm you keep things, the more you can attain. Because it's all about being able to remain uh, someone who has poise when, when you feel, you know, if you're having uh, any kind of 
anxiety or, or performance anxiety or stage fright, just understand that that remaining calm and just proceeding uh, does it, it doesn't mean you feel calm, but you have to make it look like you feel calm, and that's the key. Easier said than done, but that's that's where uh, a lot of the people who teach uh, how to attain your goals that's where they begin. Many of the t- uh, you know m- many times when they're teaching you how to proceed. Now remember to chant your divine tone of I think or try out the higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of thinking, and be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Gemini. Thank you for joining us and join us again.